Right. Yeah. Okay, so we're all set. Yeah. We're not all set, but I guess that's it. Well, so does this mean that the Board of Selectmen is making an official request for documents, or? I already made that. As a board. As a board. I mean, I'm talking to the so Board the, of no, Selectmen, I, I, not to the, one member. Well, I just want to be clear. I was not okay. involved. I, I, just want clarification. I had no idea we'll, what you're talking about. We'll, never saw this until I got we'll a letter about that. in Congress. We'll get back to you, all right? Clarification. Okay. Very good. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. This sounds like a unilateral decision on the part of the chairman, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we'll talk about it. Thank you very much. All right, why don't we talk about this so uh, so into it. <clears throat> what happened was this. You know the exact date contacted by uh, Mr. Silverstein asked to <clears throat> provide a the highway department superintendent I could attend, Mr. Moore attended, and uh, for that uh, for legal for litigation, pending litigation. Now listen, if you're going to talk over me, you can leave the room. You can leave the room. Okay? One more comment. I'm telling any one of you, so you're going. We'll stop the meeting. You're going to go. Okay. I'm trying to explain to you. So with that request, I contacted Mr. Richmond to get a set of plans. We met at the site, and through the request of our insurance carrier, who's defending us in a case, several cases, whatever it may be, that we do this. And that's just what I did. I stood there for eight hours with, with the town official, cones out, they did their thing, I observed, he observed. Things were taken, pictures were taken, this camera goes up and down the thing, and uh, I'm not even sure if they completed that or not. But anyhow, that was it. At the end of the day, we all left. There was problems on the, on the site, we had pictures taken, the police down there, it was a big to do. But anyhow, that's how it went down. The, uh, if you want Mr. McBride, you can call Jonathan Silverstein. And well, get that information. All right, I, I will do be that. certain to do that. Well, absolutely, but That's, I think uh, there should be written correspondence directing anybody to do anything in this town, and I've yet to see it in any of the correspondence that comes through my office or my desk for any of these meetings. So, Dave, has any correspondence come down from Jonathan Silverstein or uh, the town's insurance carrier directing us to do that? As far as I know. The answer is no. However, I must Thank state you. as a caveat Thank that I'm. Can I talk as the owner of that subdivision? Uh, actually, it's nothing to do with it. I'm, I'm, I own the subdivision that everybody's been you talking don't about. You own the subdivision. The town, that's okay. an approved okay. road. Is that Can I road? talk? I, I don't, I don't want to get into Because I can explain exactly what happened. Okay? I'm asking you to talk, Mr. McBride. You're a member of the Board of Selectmen. Can I talk? No, first of all, it's up to I'm the asking Mr. You know, McBride. I'll, I'll tell you what, Mr. Ferreira. I'm going to, I'm going to give you, you know, but don't go, don't go I'm going to tell, I am going to say. First of all, sit down. Tell us what you're going to explain. I am going to tell you exactly we were talking what about Rocky happened. Run Phase Run, One, which is already approved which, by the town. That's right? correct. That's which there point. is, there are no litigation lawsuits, anything with Rocky Run One, okay. none whatsoever. Jonathan okay. Silverstein will tell you that. The, the reason the we the went there was Listen. because Chris Mora personally this, filed a complaint this against this my order, engineer and. They had a hearing in Boston that Tuesday, and Mr. Mora had all of those plans that you requested for personal use. That's, 